Uh, hello, my name is Mrs. Lannist, and I'm a health and personal development teacher here at East Doncaster. Uh, this is probably my favourite class. This is 7B. Um, I know I shouldn't favour classes, but some of the other students are little shits. Um, one of the traits of being a uh, personal development teacher is you need to um, teach about bullying and bullying in the schoolyard, which is what I, um, I teach to the kids in the class. If Conrad happens to be fat, if Conrad happens to be a slut, you have legal rights to call Conrad a fat slut. Fat slut. Um, I'm not exactly the orthodox teacher. Um, I incorporate lots of games into my teachings to help teach the kids about the reproduction cycle. Um, one of my favourite ones is instead of duck duck goose, it's called um, egg egg sperm. Egg, 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 sperm. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Pregnant. <laughs> Pregnant. Pregnant. You're pregnant. Congratulations. Good. Woo. This is the reproductive cycle, and this shows the sperm going to the egg. Go. Woo, sperm. Come on, sperms. Woo. To the egg. Pregnant. Um, unfortunately, there's been an increase in the number of pedophile reports in the local area. So to help uh, protect the kids, I warn them about them and how to spot out a pedophile. Vans have strong connections to pedophiles. Yes. Spotting pedophiles? Correct. Why? The beard. Beards. Remember the beards, guys. But when driving down the street, broom, broom, broom. <laughs> Look who pokes his head out the window. Pedophile. Um, I used to be in a folk band back in the early 90s with a few girls from college. So I've incorporated some of my guitar skills into my teachings, especially little songs about pedophiles. Don't get in the white van driven by the bearded man. It's probably best you don't trust any man with a beard. Yeah. Um, not only do I teach the kids in the school, but I also teach some of the teachers. Uh, every Thursday afternoon in the John Landy Centre, I do um, aerobics with some of the teachers, which is always a bit of a laugh. <laughs> One of the things I'm very serious about is uh, the no contact rule. I don't believe in students touching, kissing, groping, feeling, anything. Excuse me! Whoa! Whoa! Uh, it is getting hot in here. Right? Separation! Separation! What are you doing? This is a school, not a sex club. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. What are you doing? Do not hold hands. In fact, you go over there. Now, off your pop. Can you go over there, please? Separation. Separation. Actually, I'm going to sit here during your conversation. If that's how it has to be. Button up that shirt. I also do uniform checks to make sure the students are wearing the school uniform correctly. Go to the change rooms get changed, okay? I don't have any. No, you look like a slut. Arms out. <laughs> That's seven on the slut a meter. I also do locker inspections, in which I tend to get a bit serious about the matter. Right. That looks like shit. Your English folder is meant to be there. What the f is wrong with you? That smells like shit. Oh, what the hell is that? You take a poo in the toilet, not your locker. 